Hi, Trekkers. Yeah, I'm trying that. That's new. Uh, one of the guys put it in the comments. We really do read all the comments. But hi, welcome to another adventure of Tilt Trek. Today, we decided to go for a couple hour drive. Uh, the reason behind it was, was to check out all the hype behind Labyrinth. Uh, when we were at Expo this year, we got pumped and we did a video that I'll leave a link for in the uh, in the comments. And that will be to our interview with David Van Ness, one of the people responsible for bringing to us Labyrinth. But what we want to know is while we're waiting for ours to get here, was it worth the hype? Let's check it out. All right, before we get started, let's take a look at the outside of this game. First thing you'll see is that Nick here uh, got the upgraded back glass. The upgraded back glass gives him a real mirrored back glass with the characters. I was talking to him about it. He was saying he likes it better because of the fact that it ties in better with the artwork. We'll see what you all think. Second thing you'll notice is this great dual display. So you get your main display where you expect it, but it's tied directly into this along the back of the play field, which makes it just awesome. We're going to get into all of these in more detail, but as you can see, the sculpts on this game are really quite beautiful and just really something that makes you go, there's that whole world under glass. And the habit trails are just crazy the way they run and swirl around. And you get to your apron. Apron's a beautiful, solid artwork apron. Nice little details like the walls of the labyrinth. But then the side art. I don't know that I can do it justice for just how beautiful this side art is. And the cool thing is, is it's different on both sides, including the head. But as you can see, you've got this guy peeking around the leg, getting ready to shoot in his pea shooter. And all the characters But while she's fun to look at, pinball is a game of motion. So let's do some playing. All right, so Nick, Jody, and I are gonna play a three player game. Let's see how this goes. Let's do it. Let's player one. Beware. Don't pay any attention to him. Let's get that rat who calls himself Jerry. All right. So the first skill shot I saw is this one where I go halfway up the habit trail and I should get a friendly little hello up to All right, there's our worm. Nice. Oh, see that post grabs it there, which is cool. So then David Bowie gives us a gift, or I guess I should say Jared. Oh, it saved it. Oh! Oh my gosh. That magnet just grabbed it. That's awesome. So is there, do you know, is there more than one magnet or just that one that main? That whole section. That, I mean, because it'll go crazy. I just saw it just grabbed. Six. Oh, you're not getting it three times. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, you did. Look at that. <laughs> Ludo just popped up out of the castle. He's gone. Ludo. There's an amazing amount of little details all over here. We've got a fiery popping up in the back. So we're trying to get our three friends, Hoggle, Ludo, and Sir Didymus from the playfield. Yeah. 
And how do we know how many of them we've got? Do they turn well, colors? Yeah, I, we have two of them that are glowing right now. So I found I found two of them. So that's over here. So it's where we are on Hoggle and Ludo means you've identified where they were, but we still don't know where Sir Didymus is. And then they're on the screen too right now, up above us, so lit up. Okay. And he's still grayed out. Green. So now he's in the fireies. So he just needs to shoot the captive ball. So he's trapped that captive ball again. And now he's just trying to hit that. Oh. Okay. So if we can get it back trapped. So when you go to trap it, are you just trying to, can you approach it from the right loop all the way around to no. trap it or is it uh, only actually, no no i have to go through the front okay it, oh and it came the ball just returned out from underneath that ramp that's because i drained on the other side okay so that was that's because it pitted me and i feel <laughs> and now you see our mysteries lit which is which that the can, pink dot there yeah behind the flipper yeah. To, <laughs> Sorry, my hand was in the way. You can do it from both sides. Um, if you're rolling, um, you're trying to be slick. Um, yeah, you can see what mode she's about to go into. Right there. Is, come on, uh, come on. Knockers is lit. Oh, Knockers is lit on the play field. Got it. She wants to change that. She can get that big target directly across the middle. Okay, so it didn't, so she has Knockers lit. So now she went in through the wise man. Yeah. So now she's at the knockers. So what's okay? So so shoot a yellow shot. Magnets grabbed it. That's cool. Magnet action is amazing. Got it. Where is the referee? We need a referee. Okay, so now this is the one where I have to hit red or blue. Red or blue, but I have to do four in a row, right? So once I hit a red or a blue. Then I need to stay in red or blue. Otherwise, it starts all over again. That's cool. I've also I'm colorblind. I haven't hit anything to change any colors. Something lucky. Okay, so I'm blue. There. Stay blue. Stay blue, Bo. Blue, old boy. Oh. I lost my only friend. Even losing your ball is rewarding in this because of the amazing, like the video and the you made a friend. And, you know, like the things I will say. It's, it's, yeah, it's amazing. You're comforted in death. I agree. So we're going for the four guards, which is what I was so mm -hmm. absolutely Excellent. good Excellent. at. So red or blue four times mm -hmm. in a row. So I, my record was one blue. <laughs> so you got one red, right? Was it red? I, I don't know what you got. Because it showed me oh, two of blue? each. Okay. Well, I hit a, I hit a, I'm not a sure. yellow one, so I don't know. Okay, so there's one blue. All right, let's go blue. There's another blue. Where's blue? Blue. I don't see any far, blue. Far right, far right orbit. That ain't blue. Oh, it was blue. The blue does. It's not blue. Is, is, 
If you guys see a blue, I don't see. I see the white. I pen. see a blue dot here. That's Sir Didymus, my friend. Yeah, I don't know. So current door value twenty three hundred. Shoot right inner passage to try the door. Right inner passage. Oh, right there. Oh, so we only had, had two of them. That. So I need. To, so I don't just, know if you can. In, yeah, that's in. a pretty narrow I'm shot trying, there. Trying, okay, yeah. you got it. There we go. Do we open up the door? Give it to me, Jesus. Come on. We open the door. You made, I made it. it. I made it. I made it. Way to go. Okay. Okay. Oh. No, don't, no. Do don't do that. I had an orb, friends. Oh. I had the orb. Oh, so now let's talk about this orb. The orb was lit, so I had beat a mode. I would collect a mode, and I would have gone through there, got 10 million points. By going, because when the flipper's up, then yeah, that's the shot. Yeah, I collected it. And, and instead, all types of magic. Instead, we were, we were congratulating yeah. each other. And yeah, yeah. high-fiving instead. And high-fiving instead oh, of collecting. Wow. Okay. It's probably why there's not a lot of high-fiving in football. Yeah. Okay, so we're choosing up or down. I want to do the bog. The bog of eternal stench. So what in the world happens here? So in this one here, I can't hit, or I haven't gotten there yet. I have to start it. Now I have. Shoot orange, avoid green. Seems like there's a lot of green in this bog. That's green, don't do green. Yeah, it's like not everybody, ah! So did I automatically, okay. So far. <laughs> it's just making farting noises. That's hilarious. Oh, get up there. There we go. Oh, it didn't go far enough. Oh, green. Oh, orange moved. There we go. Oh, come on! I was right there! This was an interesting thing. I just did the Bog of Eternal Stench, and now my score is green because I was unsuccessful in crossing the Bog without touching green. So now I'm okay. Brick Keeper Multi Ball. So what is our targeted shots right now? Okay. So this left arrow here, that'll bring up those forks. Okay, so we trap the ball. There it goes. No, I can't. I lost the ball. Oh. Oh, no. Nice Yeah, but you got us into a multi ball. Nicely done. All right, so we play a few games. Not necessarily stellarly great no, games. Not at all. But we played a few games, and we got a chance to look at a bunch of the modes or whatever. Um, but to me, when we were playing, you started telling a story that I want to share with everybody, and that is your game worked great for the first day, and then something happened. So tell me about what happened there. Um, yeah, well, half the day. The evening I got it, I brought it home and put it up and played it, and then I woke up. The following morning to an error, um, and then I reached out. When you pull the, the lockdown bar off, it gives you a number to call. Okay. I called, and um, a different David, uh, David uh, picked up the phone, and two rings, a guy picked up the phone, and we started troubleshooting. And um, there's a board that was wrong with my game that we, we couldn't fix. They, ha they had to ship me a board. So um, basically, my, my game was down. There's nothing they could do about it, but... A second day aired me a board um, as soon as we figured out what the issue was. Um, they had something in the mail the following day. So three days later, like I, I was up and, and running and I, I had a couple of issues, which I, I can I can expect. I'm one of the first 50 games. Um, right. But 
what was a surprise to me was their willingness um, to react like just very, very quickly. Um, I also had a, a issue with a display that we're still working out and you saw my game works now, but yeah, um, and we didn't have a problem then, but, but the display is flaky. It's, it's going in and out. So I'm waiting on that to be replaced. Um, I'm not a stranger to working on games. I, I'm building my own game. I, I, I restore games, but they offered um, f to take my game back for me to ship my game back just because of the, the back and forth and because they wanted my experience wow. uh, to not be what it is. And they, they, you know, they understand not everybody in pinball is, is meant to, to work and take things apart. Um, right. And they, they said, Nick, you know, just, just send it back and then we'll fix it and, and get it back to you. So that's amazing. Yeah. That's not what I expected. And that's far, a far cry beyond what anybody else has offered from any of the suppliers that I've. You have been. Just say, this area filled with games. I know you've got this one in the other area. We've got a bunch of older games in the basement, some classics down there, yeah. which are awesome. The question was labyrinth. Was it worth the hype? Everybody's talking it up. Everybody's excited. You were excited. What do you think of the game? Yeah, we, we played it at Expo, and um, you know, I, I was actually building a labyrinth in my basement. That was my first uh, attempt at a homebrew, so I was about six months into building a labyrinth. So the theme is like near and dear to my heart. So for me, it's kind of, you know, maybe hard to separate the two, but I played other games, you know, Scooby-Doo or other games like from my childhood that are right. like, oh, I love this. It's beautiful. And then I come up and play it and, you know, it, it doesn't meld. You know, we, we, we don't meet. I can walk away from it and I, I don't wish that I, I don't have to take it home with me. You know, we can't fit all these things in our houses, right? right? Um, Labyrinth, like I, I would, I'll throw some other things out and, and keep Labyrinth. So um, for me, at least so far, and I'm still in the honeymoon phase, but mind you, it's a honeymoon phase where there's still there's still a problem in our marriage, right? You know, there's still something that needs fixed, but I keep hitting start. And for me, that that's an awesome experience. I think they've done something right. They've done something well. And for a new game, um, how far it's coded, I think it's like really, really, really good. Yeah, because yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you. It was like, it, it was beating me up. Because there's these cool different mode shots, and you know, and they're very specific as to what you have to do. But I loved it, and 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 I really think that's where we have something here, and I think it is worth the hype. So from that perspective, thank you all for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Labyrinth, and I hope you appreciate being able to hear stories from people like Nick who give you an idea that sometimes the way you find out about the quality of a company is not only when you get everything right, but when they need to stand by it. And that's really amazing for us. So again, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're always glad you're here. Please remember to like, comment on this video. Uh, remember to like us on Facebook. And if you ever need to know where we're going to next or anywhere we've ever been, you can always go to Tilt Trek. Dot com. Thank you all. We'll see you on the next adventure. Please visit our sponsor, Comet Pinball. Comet Pinball has what you need to make your dim machines look better than new. They have the largest selection of bulbs from the exotic to the mundane, and even their exclusive matrix lighting system, which makes it easy to boldly add lighting where no lighting has gone before. Visit CometPinball.com. Let's go on a road trip with the sun in our face. We have a full ticket gas. We can go any place. North, south, east, west. It doesn't really matter. Let's leave this town. We can drive forever. It doesn't get any better than this. Yeah. Let's go on a road trip. It doesn't get any better than this. Yeah. Let's go on a road trip.